Hello, and welcome to Warrior Yoga. Today we're going to do an easy hold and flow vinyasa. So we'll start today in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today and thank you for this time on our mat. And we ask that you help us pay attention to others around us and be grateful for what we have and be giving to those who don't have. And dear Jesus, I hope that no one gets hurt today and just that everyone has a blessed day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, we start with our Ujjayi breath. And I want to say first that whenever you do this Ujjayi breath, when you breathe in, you expand your belly, blow it up like a balloon. When you breathe out, you pull your stomach in and up and engage your root block, which is pretty much doing a Kegel. So every time you breathe out, you're squeezing all those muscles down there. So we'll start and take five deep breaths. keep that flow going. We're going to do some half neck rolls. About four of these to each side. your shoulders down away from your ears. Take your right hand, pull your right ear down to your right shoulder. Feel that stretch all along your neck, even into your chest. If you're really tight, you can put your left arm around your back to feel the stretch even more. These are so good for somebody who sits at a desk all day, is hunched over. The other side, push that shoulder down. Okay, now we're going to come to Marichi pose. Take that left leg. Put the knee to the front of your mat. Right leg comes over. Get those sit bones on the floor as much as you can. Left arm comes up. Right arm comes behind. Flip the left arm to the right knee and turn. Breathe out. Three breaths. side for just a second. Now we're going to come into cow face. We'll just push forward a little. Try to stack that right leg on top of the left. My right hip is very tight. So right arm up, left arm comes around and grasp. If you can't grasp, just push your elbow back. And as you breathe out, lean forward. Three breaths. Coming out of it. Now we're going to come into Marici on the other side. So point that right knee towards the front of the mat. Left leg comes over, sits bones to the floor, right arm hooks around the left knee, 
and twist. Final warm ups, but first I want to tell you about my essential oil that I'm diffusing from Young Living. Uh, it's called Awaken. I worked night shift last night, so I'm not completely myself today. I like to diffuse, I also like to take just a couple of drops, rub them together, and just breathe it in. Oh, it smells so good. So we're going to come into tabletop pose. We're going to do three cat and cows. Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. Breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. And when you're in, cow, push away from the floor. Separate your shoulder blades. Your Pelvis comes forward, drop your head, and breathe in. Open your chest, open your belly. Feel that stretch. One more. Now we're going to take a little back stretch in child's pose. So. Spread your knees in that distance, tail to toes. Stretch out, fold. Start warming up a little. So come into spinal balance, right leg forward, left leg back, hold three breaths. Now we're going to do V to elbow and crunch. Breathe out. Three times. Reach that right arm around and grab the foot. Kick that foot into the hand. Open up the chest. Hold three breaths. Slowly let go. Don't slingshot your leg out. Now we're going to breathe in. Hands up to the ceiling. Breathe out. Thread the needle, come over the outside of your shoulder and right ear. Burn. Feel that twist. All the poses today, besides the vinyasas, we'll be holding for three breaths. Come out of that. Arm up. Now take the arm if you can. Grab the left hip, open the right shoulder. And if you don't have any neck issues, you can drop your head down to the side, stretching the side of the neck. Spinal balance on the other side. Left arm forward, right leg back, hold. Don't forget to engage that root block, that kegel, once you breathe out. Okay, knee to elbow. Reach 
Push that left arm around, grab the right foot. Take that foot into the hand, and a little mini back bend. Set that down. Bring that left arm up. Thread the needle. Downward dog. Walk the dog out, stretching those Achilles and your calf muscles. Really get into this downward dog, push into those fingers. Now we're going to do three vinyasas, sun salutation, to warm up. So look forward, jump to the front of your mat. Each movement, movement should be a breath. So breathe in, palm mountain. Breathe out, mountain pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, forward fold. Breathe out, breathe in, monkey. Breathe out, chaturanga. Breathe in, up dog. Breathe out, dog, down dog. One breath. Breathe in, jump to the front. Breathe out, forward fold. Again, palm mountain. Out, mountain pose. In, mountain. Out, squat. In, back. Out. Forward fold. In monkey. Out. Chaturanga. In up dog. Out. Down dog. One more time. In. Out. Forward fold. In mountain. Out. In tall mountain. Ceiling, square those hips, hold three breaths. Now bend that leg and turn your hips, stacking them, trying to push that toe towards the floor and knee towards the ceiling, stretching that right side. And I forgot to add, while you're doing any downward dog, keep your head loose. You can turn your head from side to side. Make sure you're not tensing it up any. Come back to three-legged dog. Step forward in between your hands. Plant that back foot at a 45 degree angle. Knee over ankle. Shoulders away from ears. Warrior one. Hold three breaths. Rotate open and come into warrior two. The hips are open, knee, 
comes over the ankle, but not further, and it pushes out towards the pinky toes. Arms about shoulder uh, height. Tense up that back leg. Hips are down. Okay, now we'll reverse warrior. Feel that stretch all along that right side. Extended side angle. So keep your legs the way they are. Drop that right hand down. You can either put your left hand up to the ceiling, or if you're able, extend it forward. Feel that stretch all down your left side. Try not to put your weight into your hand on the floor. If you have to, that's fine. If you have the strength, come up. Revolve lunge. So swing those hands around into low lunge. Left hand stays planted. Right arm comes up. Bring that right arm down. Step the right leg back. Do a vinyasa. Forward, foot front, forward fold, palm down, mountain pose. Now we're going to the other side after vinyasa. Palm mountain, squat down, back bend, forward fold, monkey, chaturanga, up dog. Down dog to the left side. Left leg up, three reps. Bring that leg open up to the side. Warrior. Extended side angle. Revolve lunge. Steps back, vinyasa. Full fold, tall mountain, down pose. Now we're going to come into the balancing part of our vinyasa flow. So one more vinyasa. Right leg lifts up, 
comes to the inner thigh or the ankle. <clears throat> if you have something to hold on to, if you can't keep your balance, grab it. Come in to tree. Hold for three breaths. If you would like a chest opener with this, you can put your arms around the back, grab the elbows. Now we're going to come into kite. So try not to set your right foot down, but you have to turn this way again. Lift your arms up. Reach that right leg back. Now reach your arms out to the side. Pull your arms back, your shoulder blades compress. Hold three breaths. Now we're gonna come into half moon. Drop that left arm down. Open the hip to the side. Open the arms. Drop that right leg down beneath the left. Drop the hands down, the hips back. Knees still don't go past the toes. Come into chair. Squeeze those legs together, squeeze your glutes together. Come into prayer squat. Now we're gonna do revolved chair. Take that left elbow and hook it to the side of the right knee. Twist. Come back to chair. Now we're gonna do standing pigeon. So stand up tall, take that right leg Put the foot over the knee, toes are flexed back, sit down into your chair. Now I'm going to come into lunge. Right leg still. Hold that, hold that stretch along the left. All right, now scoot your right foot over to the left side of your mat. Drop that knee down. I can't do this very well because of my hip. And hold. Up the knee extension for three breaths. as you can, three breaths. Now push up onto that right hand. Scoot the knee back if you need to. Take your left hand, reach around and grab your left foot. King Pigeon. Feel the stretch all along the front of your left thigh. Okay. Now we're going to come back into Downward Dog, do a Vinyasa and go to the other side. Take that leg out. So go to the front, come forward, forward fold, tall mountain, mountain pose, tall mountain, prayer squat, back bend, forward fold, monkey, chaturanga, down dog. Step that left foot to the front of the mat. <clears throat> now 
Bring the other foot front. Right leg, I'm gonna come on the wrong leg. Left leg comes to the right inner thigh. And hold the tree. If you wanted to see the back, the way the back looks. <clears throat> Grab the elbows, open the chest, or come into reverse prayer hands. Okay, from here, we're just gonna extend the arms out to the side, palms face down, lean forward, extend that left leg back tight. Drop the right hand down, open up the hips, half moon. Drop that hand, keep those feet together, sit down into your chair. Pigeon stretching the front of the right thigh. Okay, come back to low lunge on the left. Step back, plank, lower chaturanga. jump through, which I can't really do yet, and come into boat pose. So, you just jump and sit back. So, in boat, you're going to be in a V shape. You can either have your knees bent like this, this too, the straight legs are too hard, so your toes back and straight. Your chest is open, your neck is along your spine, you're not like this, you're not like this. Your arms are open and parallel with the floor. So hold high boat for three breaths. Now low blood boat. Roll back and come into boat. We're going to do this three times. 
pull the knees in, roll back, out pose, roll back, out, roll back, fold, come into easy pose. Side bends. Oh. Okay, so put that right arm up, left arm comes over to the left. Keep your sits bones on the floor. Come to the other side. Same thing. So bring that right knee in, bring it around the right ribs, flex that left foot, hold. Now, grab that right toe and extend your leg. If you need a strap, grab your strap. Hold, stretch, stretch in the hamstring. Stretching the inner thigh. Bring that right leg in. Come to recline the pigeon. Do the same thing we did standing, but laying down. You can spread your arms through your left knee and bring around your hamstring, or you can grab your shin, or you can straighten your leg. I prefer the front of the shin. Extend the left leg. Put the hands out to the side and twist. Take that knee as far as you can get it to the floor. Look to the right. Try to keep that right elbow on the floor, or right shoulder on the floor. Send that right leg long. Bring that left leg in a little bit if we're moving. Stand it up. in to reclined pigeon. Send that right leg long. 
turn that knee over to the right. Oh, feel so good when your back pops. Relax into it. It felt so good. <laughs> now squeeze your legs in. Oh. Now you're going to grab the big toes, the outside of the foot, or the inside, when you're happy, baby. Your thighs should try to be coming parallel to the floor. Pull them down. Rock side to side, massaging the lower back. to extend them. Extend them up. Stretch that back out. Come forward. Come forward, fold. Shavasana. I encourage you to stay in Shavasana as long as you need to. It's a very restorative pose. You should always do Shavasana after an asana. Thank you for working out with me today. Namaste.